Hello, I'm Tyler's brother. How old are you? And I'm 10 years old. Oh, yeah. Brother. So, like the video. And I, I am the star in any room that I stand in. I am the standout. You just my stand. Hey, you guys. It's your girl, Kay. And welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about how to pass AMP2. This is the finale, you guys. I made a part one on how to pay, pass anatomy one, AMP one, and I'm making a part two to how to pass an AMP two. So yeah, this is the finale, y'all. I'm done talking about it after this. I'm finishing my science classes. Um, it's pretty much nothing else I can say about it. This is just what I did, and this goes along with the first video. So yeah, so first off, I'm gonna tell you guys. AMP2 was definitely easier for me than AMP1. And I'm not here to say that AMP2 is going to be easier for you or if AMP1 is going to be harder. But I'm here to say that your teacher definitely plays a huge factor in your grade. So this semester, I had a really great teacher. This teacher made amazing lecture videos. and made amazing um, PowerPoints and did an amazing job with her exams. So I am not ready to sit here and play like I really had to work extremely hard. My teacher pretty much made it really easy for us. Like as long as you studied, you were gonna pass the exam because she literally re, she gave us quizzes and gave us um, practice tests and all this other stuff, worksheets and homework. And literally, if you did the worksheets or you did homework, if you did the quizzes, you she was going to reuse those questions and put them on the exam so this is goes to show i don't know how many people on youtube are being honest about this but your teacher matters and your teacher is definitely responsible for how you do in the class overall but i am still going to give you guys tips for amp2 because there are some things that i had to do in order to pass tip number one is to make flashcards for every exam i don't want any excuses i don't want any nothing make the flashcards for every exam you guys if your teacher gives you off gives out powerpoints i want you to take those powerpoints really dissect those powerpoints and put them into flashcards whether they're digital flashcards whether they're paper flashcards it doesn't matter as long as your teacher provides a powerpoint you can make flashcards and study them put the whole powerpoint onto a flashcard and you'll have about i don't know 70 to 60 flashcards if you put everything from the PowerPoint, condense it, and put it in the flashcards, and basically study them. And if you do digital flashcards on Quizlet, you have the upper hand, you guys. The reason I say that is because Quizlet turns the flashcards into practice questions, and that is tip number two. Do practice questions. So if you stick to digital flashcards plus practice questions, those two tips go hand in hand. So step two, do practice questions so make sure you guys so make sure you guys stick to this okay flashcards first digital i prefer and make the in the practice questions will do this the tip number two will do its job for you because you already did tip number one so tip number three is to study daily you guys you should not be taking no days off when it comes to studying Studying is just like working out every day. If you want to lose that weight, you got to work out every day. If you want to pass the test, you got to study every day. So make sure you guys study daily, whether it's 10 minutes a day, whether it's one hour in the day. Please study every day because repetition is key. As long as you consistently introduce your brain to this information, you will remember it nine times out of ten. And that's what happened to me. On every exam, I remembered every question. Like, literally. So, definitely do space repetition. Definitely practice every single day. Repetition is key. All right, tip number four. Ask questions and go to office hours. This is one thing that I really took advantage of this semester that I didn't last semester. Last semester, I did not go to office hours, and I did not ask my teacher any questions because I just felt like he didn't know nothing, and he wasn't really helping. So, this teacher, I had the advantage to have an amazing teacher, but there are some things that I just could not figure out. And I went to my professor and she helped me with anything I had a question about. 
and that really helped me this semester. So if you have a, a very knowledgeable professor and you can get information out of them, don't hesitate to because this information will fill the gaps that you may not have known. So definitely go to your teacher's office hours and go to ask some questions. If they aren't knowledgeable, that you don't think that it can actually help you, seek YouTube, seek Google, and ask your other classmates. Okay, you guys, tip number five is to stay organized and have everything in one place. So the biggest thing, if you want to stay organized, you have to have everything in one place, whether it's a notebook, whether it's an iPad. For me, I prefer, like I said, digital. I'm a very digital person. So everything is in my iPad. And I have everything in a little folder. I have an MP2 folder, and then I have lecture, lab, lab PowerPoints, lecture PowerPoints. Everything is in its own place, in its own order, and it's in one device, which is my iPad. So I stay very organized. This semester was my best semester when it comes when it came to organization. Once I switched to an iPad, you guys, I no longer had issues with finding information, finding papers, or anything. I stayed so organized this semester, and I was super duper happy that I invested in the iPad. So you guys, make sure that you find something that makes you comfortable and that you can stick to. If it's a binder, if it's a folder, if it's a notebook, if it's an iPad. Yes, so I highly recommend getting an iPad if you want to really stay organized. <laughs> okay, tip number six, and this is the last tip. Um, do quizzes, do homework. These are most likely preparing you for the exam. So like I said, my teacher gave us quizzes, homework, and she used the um same question she gave on the quizzes and the homework on the actual exam not saying that every professor is going to do this just so happens i was lucky enough to get the professor but i know for a fact if your professor gives you quizzes if your professor professor gives you practice questions they're most likely going to be similar to what's on the exam and i can say this to say that when i had a math class and we got practice worksheets if once I did the practice question on the worksheet, I pretty much knew how to do the, any question when it came to the exam. So I was passing all my exams. So this goes to show that this can apply to anybody. As long as you do similar practice questions, stuff will come together and it gets easier. So basically, if your teacher gives, gives you this opportunity to have homework, gives you this opportunity to have practice questions, they're most likely going to go hand in hand with the exam. So do not hesitate to do them. Please, because you do not want to miss the opportunity and feel like, dang, if I would have studied that worksheet, I would have knew this question. Those are gimme questions, you guys. If your teacher is giving you the questions that she gave you on the past exam, on the past quiz, on the past worksheet, she's giving you gimme questions. So do not miss out on those opportunities to get gimme questions correct. So I'm sorry I was taking a little fast, y'all, but I literally had a long day. I was, um... Today is my anniversary, actually. I've been with my boyfriend for four years, and we had a great day together, and I had so much fun. So I wanted to definitely come out here and make a video for you guys. So, yeah, I wanted to say thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you to all the new subscribers. If you are just watching this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn the post notifications on to get notified every time I post. Like I said, this is my last video for mp period okay y'all i passed it i don't have no more science classes and congratulations to the people that passed these science classes as well this semester it is very hard and we made it through and sometimes it's about roots what professor you get and sometimes you get a terrible professor and you have to work even harder so i'm praying for everybody who's just starting this journey of biology and amp2 and i'm congratulating the people who just finished their journey we worked so hard and we're finally there you guys we'll be getting in our program soon congratulations i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye